Hi, I'm John Rowland with Holland Park Lapidary, and I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, spear grinding. Uh, today, uh, basically, what we're going to do is I've got uh, I've got a piece of palm wood. This is Burmese palm wood, and what we start with is when we core drill, we core drill a preform that looks pretty much like this, and then we do some real quick hand grinding with uh, one of our wet grinders to knock all of those corners off, which that's maybe five minutes of work to get it round like that. You can see you're starting with a really good preform. Uh, so uh, what I'll do is I've got this machine set up. Uh, I'm using two and a quarter inch cups and uh, I'm just gonna rough grind it. It's a little bit loud so you'll have to bear with us for the audio. good as I can, so I'm, I'm going to adjust the heads until I get a nice random rotation. Now what you'll see is if it tends to rotate around one axis, that means that head is in too far. And so by adjusting the handle, if I pull the head back, then the other heads will start to become more dominant. What we want is that spot where all the all three heads are fighting for dominance, which basically creates a random motion in the sphere. Now, when you're looking at the sphere machine adjustment, I, I always pull the head back and I'm looking for that the bottom edge of the cup is pulling on that sphere a little bit on all three. And this one here is floating, so I need to adjust that one. And when I push back on it, then I see I'm getting a little pull. If you have one head that's floating, you can still grind a mostly round ball, and compared to the silicon carbide machines, it's still going to be better, but it's much easier to get a round uh, sphere if you keep the heads in complete contact. So I'm going to run this a little bit here. Now you'll notice I don't flood it with tons of water. You don't need much water. All, you, all your water is doing is keeping the dust uh, down to a mud instead of going into the air. Now on the high speed spear machine, you'll see it's much easier to see when your rotation is good. Because the heads are moving so fast, the pattern becomes more visible than on a low speed machine. I don't want to crank my bungees up a full knot. To run it dry for a few minutes. Let me get it to dry out, and then you can see the cutting action really well. Now you can see the powder coming off of it which is indicating how fast the diamonds are cutting. Now we've run that about 
two or three minutes here. And now what you're going to see is we have one band here from a core drill. Looks like it was a little bit offset in the jig, but not bad. Not bad for a few minutes grinding, but uh, a few more minutes and we'll be ground in and round. What's nice about the high speed machine is that you can get an extremely round sphere and it doesn't take a whole lot of uh, finagling and skill with the machine like it does with the low speed machine because the the action of the of the three heads working together and the more precise control so the heads can't move all around it really really holds this uh, the sphere in true water sometimes it just starts hydroplaning the sphere now as we're losing size sometimes I have to watch like that back head is walk is now further away from the sphere because the sphere is getting a little smaller so I'm gonna adjust that in till I got pretty good pull on all three See the difference in how it's grinding with that small adjustment on that back head? Once you do a number of spheres, you, you get really accustomed to how to get those adjustments on the on the sphere and get it keep it running perfect. Now certainly I can, uh, I can Let's see how we're looking now. And a little tiny bit of a band there, and the other one is cleaned up. So it's almost done at this point in time in rough grind. Now this particular piece has some natural bugs in them. We're going to leave those because it doesn't really hurt the stone, and, and some of the some of the Burmese has pockets that run all the way through, so if you chase the pocket, you can end up just getting smaller and smaller. But uh, that's about five minutes of grinding, and we're almost perfectly round. We run it for another minute, minute and a half. It will be done and ready to go to 220. So I'm going to go over here to this machine um, right behind me, and we have a little bit bigger uh, sphere. Now this one here is uh, Cherry Orchard. Now, Cherry Orchard is a really hard agate, so we're going to grind that a little bit um, just to give you another uh, feel for, you know, grinding, rough grinding, and, and how, these, how these are going to run. Now you'll see again, my back head's floating a little bit. So I'm going to adjust that so I got more full contact. Another thing with this machine, where I have my hand up here, I can, I can sit there and drive the rotation. If I, if I have a new preform and I want it to behave quickly, I can bumping it a little bit by hand until I get the rotation right where I want it. Perfectly, you get an X pattern. The little 
little harder to see on this one because it's a lighter material. But I look at the mud. reservoir overhead and uh, I'm going to walk it off real quick. And let's see how we look here. So I got one spot here. This is a de defect in the stone. Uh, now generally I don't like to see that when I'm this close, but you can see uh, the diamond just really loves cutting this stuff. I have only a couple of very shallow bands. This will take the most work. Because of this little dot, I probably got another, uh, I don't know, seven minutes of grinding to clean that up. But uh, way better than running silicon carbide because that would be about a seven hour grind in silicon carbide. We're down here in, in minutes. So that gives you a feel for rough grinding. Um, I covered in some of the other videos before all the different all the different grits where we go blue is 220 green is 400 that's our metal bond and then yellow is a 400 poly which it's a big step between there you're cleaning all the metal scratches out with that then 800 poly you're only running a few minutes 800 1200 and if you have uh more difficult stones then we run the 4000 8000 and then uh, polish with diamond or polish with serine 